What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by my music. Since we don't do any sponsorships here, I'll go ahead and shill that out. It is available anywhere you stream music under the name After Sound, so I would appreciate if you go check it out and let me know what you think. All right, guys, I want to talk about promo cards versus a mini set in this video because we are in an interesting scenario here where you know the team went forward on wanting to do this promo card event which is going to consist of if you go back to the the bitcoin having promo event like 12 promo cards in total right versus a potential mini set now what's interesting is that we we've gone this direction with the promo cards the mini set came up as part of you know a conversation i've seen some initial polling that shows many people don't really want that and i can understand why right because we're gonna have the end of rebellion uh you know the end of the rebellion sale we're gonna have this uh hall of events or hall of legends event thing going on and if you're gonna add a mini set on top of that i wonder if the community is just overall tapped out so my thought is what would we like to see moving forward what would be beneficial to the game, to the player base, you know, whales and shrimp alike. And uh, I, I kind of want to get your thoughts on this, right? Because we're, we're trialing out the promo card event right now. And I, it, you know, it's going a certain way. I don't want to do any early reactions in the sense of like, it's, it's good or bad. You know, this is going to, this is going to happen over the course of, uh, you know, five months here. But, you know, the idea being you have these five cards or sorry, five events. And again, if you go back to the, the other one as well. We are hoping, right, with the team getting like 600 million DEC, and I, you know, they got uh, some other uh, DEC back in the past. The idea was we would burn through probably, you know, over a billion DEC. And you can go back and combine what we did as well with the Bitcoin promo event too. But um, actually, you know, what, however you want to look at it, the idea is we're going to burn through a million uh, DEC. And sorry, I, I shouldn't say burn. We're going to lock them up in the DAO, right? So it gets recirculated out by the team, and then we we lock up more in the DAO. So it ends up being a net positive for the ecosystem overall, right? DEC is a net negative in terms of how much is out there. So I was thinking about this in the context of, okay, if we were to do future core sets, followed by periodic promos that are maybe monthly like this one is right where the team goes through and does monthly or bi-monthly to uh, throughout the course of the, of the uh life cycle but they don't do a mini set right so now we're choosing one or the other would that be better is the situation that we're in right now better overall and again i'm not talking about the results of the situation so far because we're still still too early in it but just theoretically right is it better to go with a a select group of cards that could be meta defining, very important, could be pretty badass, right? And only have maybe 10 to 12 cards during that time frame versus going with a full on mini set, which will have a wide variety of cards, probably like four times the amount of cards, right? Over 40 cards is what we've seen in the last couple of mini sets. And so, is it better to go that route? Now, okay, from a design perspective from the team, I would think that it would be less work to cover, you know, to do like 30 fewer cards in that scenario. So I, I would knock that, you know, I, I would chalk that up as one point necessarily for, and I'm not going to keep score, but one point for the, uh, for the promo cards. At the same time, the other benefit that you have is you would be able to then focus in on the, the meta a little bit more and you wouldn't have as much DEC, potential DEC inflation, because these would be cards that would be highly desired. It wouldn't be, you know, a bunch of cards that would include a, a bunch of fluff, right? And we've seen fluff in Chaos Legion, in Rebellion, right? Even in Untamed, it wouldn't have to include that fluff. It would just be solid cards. And therefore, when and if we were to go through another, you know, significant downturn, what you don't want is people once again burning, you know, buying cards below their burn value and then burning them for DEC and essentially creating DEC inflation that is unnecessary, right? If you do that, if you just have promo cards, right, you can still kind of your core set, so that's going to have some bum cards in it. But if you do just a, a core set followed by promo cards, I don't think people are going to burn promo cards, right? Especially if they got to pay a, a decent chunk for them. I'm not saying what the price will be, but obviously significantly higher. Now, from, you know, kind of taking a little bit more macro look at that, let's use the 1 billion as a reference right now. So we're trying to lock up a billion DEC in the Dow through these promo events. 
Is it doable? I, I mean, I think so. Even at this point, I think it's I think it's doable. But what would that translate to in terms of the amount of packs needed to be sold? Well, we're going to assume 4,000 DEC per pack. And if we want to get a billion, somebody check my math, but that should be roughly 250,000 packs that we would need to sell. Is that attainable? Is that easy? Can we blow past that? Or are we going to struggle to get to 250,000 packs? I mean, at this point, I, I don't know, right? Here's the way I'm thinking about it. And I, again, I'm not perfect. I'm not the perfect uh, you know, person to, to provide this perspective because there's a, a wide variety of perspectives, but especially from those who plan on buying either a mini set or a promo card, my guess would be you'd want to buy the promo card because you know what you're getting, all right? Now, there is a gambling kind of thrill-seeking sensation with packs. Like everybody loves just opening packs to see what you get. And so I, I, do, I don't want to discount that. And I think that that is actually quite important. Uh, but people can get that from the core set, right? And you put a bunch of good cards in the core set and you know people will be opening packs the entire time. Whereas with a mini set, right, you, um, it, I don't know, to me, it just, it just adds on and it's not quite necessary. For people that are serious about the game, for people that want to, you know, be collectors, the idea of trying to max out 40 plus cards versus being very specific and deliberate about 10 to 12 cards that are going to be important, that are going to be good, in my opinion, that kind of makes more sense, right? And I'm not trying to, you know, lean one way or another. I'm just trying to actively look at how, <laughs> like what, what could potentially be better for us in the future. Um, so I know I'm coming across with a lot of like the, the promo card uh, arguments right now, which again, I don't see them as necessarily bad. I think what's ended up happening is many people were not expecting the mini set to come in because that's what we were told. And then all of a sudden it's just like, but wait, we might do a mini set. And now people are on the fence because they're like, well, what, what do we do? Right. Um, so if we were to go forward, right, and, and moving forward, what is the most ideal situation? Again, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna make any conclusions. I'm just trying to give arguments for both sides here, right? Does the variety and diversity of cards within a mini set add more variety and diversity to the meta? Does it allow for people to come in and buy potentially cheaper cards and still participate? Because at the end of the day, we all know very few people are gonna be able to own every single card in the game, right? And in fact, that I would say that's not even the name of the game anymore. It's just about building a collection that you feel comfortable playing with that is gonna be fun for you and competitive for you at whatever level you're at. So, you know, there, there could be benefits there where it's just like, hey, maybe some of these scrub cards do get, you know, very good in certain specific situations and people who can't buy a Mantaroth can go in and buy, uh, you know, one, one of these common cards as their, their primary tank, right? Um, I don't, I, I'm just giving an example here. So, again, I don't know what the right answer is, but I'm curious to know where you guys would lean on this. What would the collective audience prefer moving forward if we were to choose only one or the other, right? So just a mini set or just promo cards. I know we've always been in a state, or at least for people who've been here as long as I have, where they've always done both, right? And we may still get both to a certain extent, but I don't think like the Hall of Legends promo promo event is very specific. And it seemed as though that was replacing the mini set until the mini set was announced. I personally wouldn't mind, like if we were to go with the mini set and we had like a promo card, you know, every couple, not every couple months, but like maybe once or twice a year, especially for something like the Bitcoin halving, or if there's like a major event or something like an anniversary event, that would make sense to me. Like, that's cool, right? You can have promo cards for that, but it wouldn't be a very deliberate kind of like, hey, we're putting out 10 cards, right? Instead of doing a mini set, we're putting out 10 to 12 cards as part of this, you know, set, uh, like the Rebellion set, for example. So I, I, again, there's no right or wrong answer. I'm just curious to know from the, uh, you know, the sub community here, the YouTube community, what your thoughts would be and what you would be more enticed to go and purchase. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. That's all I have for you guys in this video. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.